I gotta say, I appreciate the fact that Billy Eilish. I gotta say, I appreciate the fact that Billy Eilish has been on SNL so many times that when she has a performance on SNL, they actually have to put SNL or Saturday Night Live and the year next to it, uh, denoting which performance it was because she has a catalog of so many different years. And I think that is really cool as an artist that you can look back and see, oh, there was a 2017, oh, there was a 2019, oh, there was a 2020, whatever the case, right? And now, however many years it's been, there's a catalog. So today we are uh, checking out Billy Lash's most recent performance on SNL. Looking forward to this, What Was I Made For? Incredible perform- incredible song. So I assume it's going to be an incredible performance. I have a breakdown here on the channel of them, uh, her and her brother, Phineas, which is also a producer, um, talking about how they made it. I believe that there's another one, actually, that I think, uh, I don't I think it was Vice or somebody uh, made a second one or uh, not, not Vice, but um, I'm drawing a blank. She does the uh, interviews with them every year, having a totally drawn it starts with a V, whatever. Uh, point Vanity Fair, maybe actually. Uh, point being, I want to check that out. It's on my list. I'm hopefully going to check that out. So let's see what we got. This is what was I made for. Billie Eilish. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Jacob Restituto, and I'm a musician from North- Northport, New York. Let's see what we got. Billie Eilish. <laughs> That's cool, with the little Barbie uh, font. So that very, very, very air. Let's just talk about it before we get into it. Um, that very, very airy tone of her voice is called falsetto. Um, what's a type of her falsetto? Like it is, it is so distinct to her. She, I really feel like she, like like paved the way of a genre. Like really made that style of singing popular. This whispery style, very popular, um, particularly on, uh, among uh, female singers. I'm not saying she invented it. Um, But I think she really brought it either back, if you want to say it, or really brought it to the forefront of pop. Um, And that's what I, one of my biggest, I guess, tells, I guess you could say, whatever the case is, like... I always say, like, you, you you know an artist is a defining artist or a career-defining artist or an artist that sticks around for a while when they do something that nobody else is doing. And, and, and they cre- they're essentially uh, genre definers, genre creators, which Billie Eilish was. She, was, she totally uh, created her own genre, her own sound, and then people kind of filled in and followed after her. And you can even see them just in the way that she sings. And I, that's why I think she's been around for so long at this point and will continue to be around for so many more years. What is I made for? Taking a drive. How was an ideal? Look so alive. Turns out I'm not real. Just something you paid for. Dude, that lyric right there probably has to be one of the most powerful lyrics in in this song. Like, just something you paid for. Like, it is such a cool, like, you know, cross between the the storyline of uh, of Barbie and what we know and as Barbie, you know, the Barbie products, and also as an artist and an entertainer. Uh, whether you pay for tickets for a show, whether you pay for a live stream, whether you pay for merch, whether you pay for a uh, song, whatever the case is, an album. You like what? Like you kind of can get lost in this like purchasement of like you are selling yourself essentially, and you know of course that's the Barbie story. She's like you're buying a doll, right? But like here it is as an artist too. Like you're buying a product that I made or Billy made, or right as an artist we put ourselves out there. I think that it's such an incredible, incredible line that describes so well. Uh, the entertainment industry and some of the struggles uh, mentally that artists have as being artists is putting yourself out there. Her vocal control is unreal.
I don't know how she has that control. Her falsetto is insane. does such a phenomenal job at blending his voice for the proper harmony the correct harmony the correct time he uh you know sometimes you don't even realize it's him he's just so good at like fitting into what needs to be there for the song uh, and doesn't necessarily need to make himself known but he makes whatever is necessary there it's he's such a he's so good at that but someday i might someday Who were all up? I'm assuming that the, the beginning person was Billy because I recognized her mom based on the documentaries that I've seen, but I didn't recognize all the other people in the background video. Does anybody know the answer to that? Who they were? It is so insane the control that she has over her vocals and and how such a simple like not simple song I don't want to say it like that but like simple production can have so much emotion in it. It is remarkable how just you know simple and it's not like it even arcs and has this huge dynamic shift. It's pretty steady throughout, but the storytelling, the emotion behind it, carry it so much. It's Incredible performance with an incredible artist and incredible songwriting all together wrapped up uh, for this SNL performance. So I'd love to know your perspective, what you thought, um, which your perf- which your favorite performances because there's been a lot of performances of what was I made for, and it's cool to see. I you know this Billy's done this a couple times. But, you know I know she's done it with James Bond. I know she's done it with now Barbie, and I think there might have been a third that like she's doing these songs for uh, for. Um, movies and it's hard like you don't always find these that they stick but Billy's and Phineas have a phenomenal track record of writing these songs that stick and become cultural um, cultural moments in cultural songs in addition to the movie I think that it is incredible talent so let me know in the comments below what your favorite is I'll see you in the next video God bless and peace out